Hi my friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Lawn Fawn haul as well as my Not Too Shabby Design Team package for the month of September. So I thought I would go ahead and share both in the same video since the Lawn Fawn order came from Not Too Shabby. So let's go ahead and first start off with um, the DT package that I'm going to be getting and get to play with for September. First, I'll, I'll talk about the tag here in just a second, but this is the stamp set that I chose um, to play with for September. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's from Waffle Flower. It's called Bouquet Builder 2, and it's pretty good <laughs> size stamp set, And but I just love the flowers in this as well as the, the scripty font, and so I thought this would be a really great one for just friendship cards, birthday cards, you know, get well cards. Obviously, some of the time you can may actually make sympathy cards with this as well. So it would be a good one to have for a multitude of different occasions. So that was my stamp set I picked out. And then this is the tag that Jamie made. It's absolutely adorable. And I believe the um, stamp set that she used, or the um, stamp is from Picket Fence, I believe. Um, picket fences I believe I think it's a newer stamp company to me so but it says you are magical that's the sentiment that she used but it's absolutely adorable and she always makes the cutest tags I just love her love her tags and so I, I love them and I treasure them and she's got some tool and some ribbon on there I've got uh, all now all three that she has made I'm gonna um, I, I hang them up with my other cards that I get from friends so it's one that I will definitely treasure. So that is what I got for my design team package for the month of September. This is the information in case you wanted to go over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and look around and see what you can find. There's lots of great goodies over there. And then now I'm going to get into the little the purchases that I made for the Lawn Fawn release. If y'all have been watching my channel for a little bit now, you know that usually more times than not, if they um, do new ink colors that I'm going to grab on that because I do collect Lawn Fawn inks. I really do love their inks. Um, you know, they're really fun colors and I think it's a really great ink for especially for beginners. Um, I don't can really consider myself a beginner anymore, but um, nonetheless, I love the colors and I just love Lawn Fawn. So these are the two colors that they have, Artichoke and Pizza Crust. So it's a great addition to the colors that they already have. Really great neutrals. And um, if y'all want me to go ahead and swatch those out, I will. Um, in fact, I may do that at the end of the other, other things that I'm going to be showing you guys. So because I know a lot of you like to see the swatches. So the first set that I picked up was the Caramel Apple. So, so cute. I love the caramel apple. I personally don't eat caramel apples all that much, <laughs> but I just, I love the image. I think it's adorable. Obviously, it screams fall, and um, I'm not into Halloween all that much either, but this would be actually a great um, image uh, for, for those of us that are really not into Halloween that much. Um, this is even a great image for, you know, Halloween too, um, instead of the, you know, ghosts and goblins. There's lots of adorable stamps that I do love. I think they're cute, but I really don't give out Halloween cards. So this is a really great one to, you know, maybe make up and if I were to, if I had to or needed to give one out, this would be a great image to do that with. So I love the little caramel apple. Um, you're the caramel, caramel apple of my eye. And of course you got two little faces there and a little bow to put on the, on the, uh, on the stick if you wanted to, or I guess even on the apple itself. Of course I picked up the die for that. Next up I got the um, Reveal Wheel Holiday Sentiments. I recently just did my first Reveal Wheel card and absolutely a a joy to put together. They're super super fun. So if you have not been able to pick up that die yet and it's on your wish list, you know, I definitely highly recommend picking it up because it's very fun to create those cards. So I this was a no no doubter for me to pick up. And it's got a ton obviously of holiday sentiments in there. I'm not gonna read them all to you but um a really great essential for the holidays especially for those interactive cards. So I picked that up. I also picked up the 
Simply Celebrate Winter. My One of my favorite sets I have used it several times on my channel is the Simply Celebrate stamp set and the Simply uh, Celebrate Sentiments. So again, this was a no-brainer for me. Obviously, it's got a row of presents, a row of gingerbread men, Christmas trees, snowmen, ornaments, and a little like little house village here. And of course, you got season's greetings as the sentiment in it. So this would be make fantastic quick Christmas cards. In fact, I may use it for my Christmas cards this year. Um, I'm going to try to be better and send out Christmas cards because I don't think I did last year or if I did it was very little I can't remember <laughs> but um, definitely one that I will be using for my Christmas cards this year and uh, it's really a great one to practice your coloring too because the images are you know they're not too small but they're not huge either so of course I got the dies with that one too I also picked up the thanks a latte I did pick up the dies for this one but um, the dies are on their way. They actually they need to be back ordered, so um, they are on their way. But this is one of my favorite sets from the whole entire release, actually. I just love these um, cups and the little images that you can add because I love um, cocoa. I'm, I'm more of a hot cocoa person than a coffee person in the wintertime. So this one, you know, really, you know, spoke to me, I guess. And I just love these little additions that you can stamp into these little cups. Of course, you got the little dollop of whipped cream and the marshmallows and these little images that you can decorate it with. Of course, you got some cute little smiley faces. I love the one with the mustache. It's always my favorite. Then you've got a few sentiments here, too. Uh, warm wishes, cream to my coffee, marshmallows to my cocoa. And then, you, of course, you can use, use the you or the marshmallows to my cocoa or cream to my coffee. Uh, thanks, love you, a latte. Happy holidays or happy fall. So really great set. It's a I, I love it a lot. So I'm anxious to use get some use out of that. And obviously, like I said, the dies I did purchase, but they're on their way. And then lastly, what I picked up during this go round of the release was um, the really rainbow Christmas. Again, one of my favorite uh, really or things from the last release was the. Um, really rainbow six by six paper pad. I've used that quite a bit so um, I had to get the Christmas one too because I thought it was pretty unique for Christmas so I'm going to open this up for you guys so you can see all the wonderful rainbowness. <laughs> of course you get <clears throat> you get uh, 36 sheets in here and I love that they're single-sided. I'm going to get it going here. Okay. So this one has got love and peace, holidays, snow, joyful, Christmas. So it's got it all kind of repeated there in the rainbow fashion there. Red rainbow Christmas trees. This would be a, considered a great neutral, or um, Tone on tone. It's got the little Christmas trees on there. More little Christmas trees. That would be a great snow pattern. That one as well. Lots of great ones for snow. So you got a couple of different options there. A polka dot. Another brighter green. Some ornaments. And then it starts over. So that was a really fun one for Christmas. So I picked that up as well. So of course there's other things that I'd like to get, but right now I just, you know, it's just going to have to wait. So anyway, that is what I picked up for the Lawn Fawn release, guys. Um, let me go ahead and open these up and I will go ahead and quickly swatch these out for you guys. Okay guys, so here are the ink swatches for you just to kind of compare some of the other colors that's in the line. And so Pizza Crest is going to be the lightest brown in the lineup now. Um, so I really do like it. It's a really great craft kind of color. And then you've got Doe, which was the lightest brown before Pizza Crest. So that's why I can kind of put those together. So a really nice addition there to the brown family. Then you got the greens. You got cilantro, 
which there is a lighter color than cilantro, which is celery stick. But I wanted to kind of keep the colors kind of similar so I could show you the difference between all of them. The next one is the newest one, the artichoke. So it's a really great kind of army green color. And then the last one is noble fir. And that's kind of a more of a forest green. So you can kind of see it's a really great in the middle color there, that artichoke. And it really does add to the whole entire line. So I hope that helps you out, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope that helps you out. And then it uh, kind of gives you an idea of how the in color swatch out and what they look like. So anyway, that is my haul for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you on my next video. See you then.